Hello and welcome. Today I will be showing you how you can use Python to encrypt and decrypt the entire contents of CSV files. What I'll be doing is firstly showing you some sample data, then I will show you the data as it is encrypted, and then I will show you again as it is unencrypted after we have encrypted it. What I'll be doing is showing you something called symmetric encryption. And what symmetric encryption is, it means that we are using a key to encrypt and decrypt the file. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to import a module called cryptography. And more specifically, we're going to import a sub area of that module called Fernet. So if we type in from cryptography.fernet with a small f, import Fernet with a capital F, we will import the Fernet part of the cryptography module. After we have done that, first thing we need to do is generate the key. So this is arguably the most important line of the code outside of actually encrypting and decrypting the files. Because this key will form the basis of that encryption and decryption. And without the key, you cannot encrypt or decrypt the file. But most importantly, you cannot decrypt the file once it's encrypted. So if we type in Fernet with a capital F dot generate underscore key and then empty pair of brackets and give that the variable key, we now have a way of generating a key which we can use. The next thing we need to do before I run the code is we need to save this key as a file because this is very important. And we can do that by typing in with space open and then in brackets encryption key dot key. So this is now a dot key file we are saving and then comma and then in quotation marks WB. So we're going to write to that file that's been opened. Give it the alias file key by typing in as file key, type in colon, and then below that type in file key dot write and then in brackets key. What that will do is that will open a file called encryption key dot key with the ability to write to it. And then we're going to write to that file the key we have just generated. So let's run that. And we can open this file so you can see what an encryption key looks like. And this is what an encryption key looks like. It's essentially just a bunch of scrambled up uh, numbers and letters. It doesn't look like it doesn't mean anything to us, but it does mean something to this um, cryptography module and to the file that we're going to be using to encrypt and decrypt. Because without this, we will lose access to the data once it's been encrypted. I just want to pause right there just to say that please do subscribe to my channel and do follow me on Twitch, uh, on YouTube as well, and take a look out for me on TikTok and other channels in the future. Cool. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to now hash gray out this because the last thing we want is to accidentally run this again. And then what we will have is a new key generated and saved on top of the encryption key file and we will lose the key that we've actually used to encrypt the data. So this is just saving us a proper nightmare down the line. Cool. So the next thing is we're going to actually encrypt our sample data. But before we encrypt it, let me show you what it looks like. So this is what it is. We have first name, last name, ID and comment. So first name, if you just go over the first row, we have John as the first name, Doe as the last name, an ID and a comment. And if we keep going down, we also see analyst uh, as the first name, rising as the last name, and then a comment, which I'm sure you'll agree is providing the best tutorials in the world. Who cannot deny that? So this is our data that we're going to be using. It's a very small amount, 
But you can imagine if this was um, something much larger that you wanted, maybe as a list of your own passwords or your own uh, account name, your bank account numbers and so on and so forth, or some financial data, some financial records. Um, I will be doing another series on sort of ransomware and how ransomware works. Not really a series, like an episode, uh, because this is forms the basis of what ransomware is and how it kind of works. And um, I think it's very important for you to understand that as well. But that's for a different um, tutorial down the line. So going back to this, we have our sample data. We have our encryption key. The next thing we need to do is actually encrypt the file. So similar to what we did to save the key as a file, we're going to get that key and instead of saving it as a file, we're going to read it instead. So instead of we're going to have with open again and calling the file name, but instead of WB for writing to the file, we're going to have RB so we can read the file. Give it the same name as file key. And then below that, instead of we're having file key dot write, we're going to have file key dot read and give that the variable key the next thing we're going to do is load the key into our cryptography module uh, and give that the variable fernet so we typed in fernet with the capital f key calling the key value that we've opened in our file and give that the variable here fernet so fernet now is our key that we're going to use to encrypt the file in this case so once we've opened the key and got access to the key, the next thing we need to do is open the file and get access to that data. And we do that by doing another with open and then sample data.csv rb again for reading it. And this time we put as file, giving it the alias file. And we type in file.read and give that the variable original. So now what we've done here is we've opened the file name, the file with the key in it and the file with the data in it. And the file with the key in it has got the variable key and the file with the data in it has got the variable original. And so the next thing you need to do is actually encrypt the file in this case, which has got the variable original with the key. And everything happens in this one magical line here. And this line is fernet, calling our fernet key dot encrypt and then bracket original. And then we give that the variable encrypted. So that line there, that one line encrypts everything so that it cannot be read or understood by humans. So once we've done that, it'd be really great if we could see the contents of this file. So I'm just gonna add in some extra bits here where we can actually, where we've saved this data as the CSV again, we're overwriting the sample data that can be read to sample data that now cannot be read unless we have the key. And we do that by typing in with open again, sample data CSV calling our sample data file, WB, give it the alias as encrypted file, encrypted file dot write, then in brackets encrypted. So we're writing our encrypted data now. So what we can do is we can run that and we can take another look at our sample data. And here, this is what our sample data now looks like. It is just a bunch of characters. Let's look at that. You cannot understand a thing. So our sample data has gone from that data that we saw earlier of five or six rows to a single line of encrypted data may not necessarily have to be a single line, it's just there's not much in that sample data, so it managed to get it into a single line. Cool, so what I'm gonna do now is the same thing we did before with the key, except we're gonna do it with our encrypted file so that we can then go ahead and decrypt it, and it's gonna hash it all out, like so. And then we can get on to decrypting our file. So now that's our data decrypt, uh, encrypted we now need to go ahead and decrypt it so we do that firstly I'm gonna do something a bit different this time not just loading the file I'm gonna actually get the key and I'm going to get the contents of this key and I am going to put it into here and give it the variable key 
just a different way of using the key and getting access to the key. Again, we're going to give it the variable fernet. Fernet equals fernet with a capital F key. And like before, after we've got the key, we also need to open the data we want to apply the key to. So pretty much exactly the same as we did to encrypt the file with open sample data.csv rb reading as this time enc file instead of encrypted file. And then we've got enc file dot read, reading the file, give it the variable encrypted. Um, and that we, we now have both our key and our encrypted file. The next thing we need to do is now decrypt the file. So this one line that was magically encrypted our file, we can use again to magically decrypt our file. So we type in fernet.decrypt and then in brackets encrypted and give that the variable decrypted. We've now managed to decrypt the file. But before I run it, what I'm going to do is save the data, overwrite it, on top of the encrypted file data so that we can now see the data that we've decrypted. And I've done that with another with open command with open sample data.csv wb for writing as a file as deck files decrypted file deck file dot write and then in brackets decrypted calling our decrypted file. I know we've done a lot of with opens but it's very important to um, when it comes to encrypted and decrypted file, you, you need to continuously read files and save over files um, if you're doing it in this way in Python. So we save it, we run it, and we can now should be able to see our decrypted file data. There we go. So we've gone from seeing this data to start with, encrypting the data, and now it has been decrypted again. What is interesting is, I'm just going to pull up the terminal here. If we run this again, we get this error message. Uh, this is because we have already used it to decrypt the data. So it's trying to run this key on unencrypted data and it's just not working. Um, so just something to be aware of is once you've run it and decrypted it, you can't then rerun it. It just, does, it just won't work for you. Just something to be aware of. Um, so that's it for today. I uh, hope you've really enjoyed this tutorial. Please do check out my other tutorials if you liked it. Please do like it, subscribe to it, share it with others, um, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching.